So, this is going to be totally unscripted. This is just going to be a little explanation, a little update as to why uploading has been a little off the last couple of weeks. July was a really hard month financially, physically, mentally, emotionally for me and my partner. We had a roommate and I'm not going to name that person by name, but we had had a roommate for about three months, four months, actually. Um, and this person happened to be a really close friend of my partner. And so this person had gone through a breakup with... Um, you know, their long-term partner, and we, you know, felt sorry for him, so we basically decided, okay, hey, you can come stay with us until you get back on your feet, you know. I know, big mistake, probably not the best judgment, considering I've been burned before. This person basically sat around for about another month before he eventually got a job because he was still supposedly going to school to be, you know, an electrician. Well, this person didn't even get a job in being an electrician, so it makes me kind of wonder even if this person even finished school. Um, not that that's relevant, but yeah, decides to go work for, you know, a little above minimum wage. Um, and then, you know, only proceeds to give us, you know, half the rent every, you know, every month. Maybe every couple of weeks he would give us a couple hundred dollars or whatever it was so maybe at least once that may have racked up to you know what was you know what was owed for a month but considering all the other expenses such as food and utilities that he never paid for um it's kind of it, it, it kind of made things even more difficult for us, you know, and, you know, especially with costs already going up, gas going up, rent going up, it makes that kind of hard to survive. You know, I've been pulling extra hours at work, at my day job, technically my night job because I work nights, so I've been just absolutely exhausted on top of everything and so then at the beginning of July I finally had started reaching my breaking point and I had you know was about ready to say something to him I never got that opportunity because what ended up happening is he brought up a bunch of old shit from the past that I'm not going to go into. But he brought up a bunch of shit from the past that, you know, some stupid shit that he and my partner did when, again, they were teenagers, stupid teenagers, minors. And basically, it blew up, and my partner, um, my partner and I basically told him to get the fuck out. And he did. He packed his shit, and he got out within, you know, within about 24 hours. In the meantime, we, um, we got out of town for the day 
I the overtime I was going to work that day I called out for it sucked it was also holiday pay so I lost out on literally 12 hours of that because of this asshole um yeah and it's you know it's been kind of hard um my partner has essentially lost a 10 year plus friendship and they've been just really depressed and everything like that and but also we've been fairly relieved but it's been it's been difficult the thing that's really also kind of ironic is the fact that we've uh, been trying to help a friend out, you know, kind of give them a place to stay who's, you know, homeless. They do have uh, a job and a home lined up coming up in a couple of months, so they're just kind of right now in transition right now. But I find it ironic that someone who's been homeless and has been struggling with their own addictions and everything like that has given us more money and has been had way more resolve in their recovery than this motherfucker has I should also make mention that the, this the, the former best friend of my um of my partner um that this person is a uh alcoholic with you know, violent outbursts, um, you know, usually, and basically did all the same things that my ex-wife pretty much did, which is kind of where I'm getting into this part, too. This person was everything, pretty much, that my ex-wife was. They, they gaslit, they were manipulative, they you know, brought up old shit, they made, you know, made you think that you were crazy when you weren't, you know, they were just mentally, emotionally, and verbally abusive, not only to my partner, but, you know, to, but to their former, but to his former partner, and funny enough, we've actually become really good friends now with his former partner, and we, you know, and I've kind of helped that person, you know, kind of heal and everything because of the fact that I've already been in that situation with my ex-wife. So, because of that, it's the triggers that this person brought so because of that I've had to revisit a lot of my old I, it reopened a lot of old wounds that I've been having to kind of cope with and manage and um, so I've um, so that's part of the reason why I've been so absent lately is because I've just been trying to process and take care of myself and just deal with the situation that has unraveled while also having trying to take care of not only, you know, my partner's needs and trying to help them through this, but also trying to help our friend who is the former partner of this particular individual. So I've been not only trying to help myself but trying to help others while also working a lot and then trying to do YouTube which has been really hard and all this coincided right about the time that I had started literally actually the night that I was editing the season premiere and I got it all out, but looking back, I would have probably delayed the season one premiere easily by at least another couple of weeks, if not even a month, because this month has been so brutal on 
my mental health, my partner's mental health, our friend's mental health. But at the same time, it's been a, a real cosmic relief. So, I've been dealing with that. I've been dealing with my own depression that's kind of been a result of that. It's been a result of a lot of other things, too. But, um, and then, you know, on top of that, I've been um, dealing with dysphoria. Um, because for some reason, you know... Every once in a while, you know, you get that little voice in your head that just tries to tell you that, you know, you're you're not good enough, you're not woman enough, you're not, you know, you know, I, I do a pretty good job about, you know, standing up to my haters, especially to transphobes, and I'm an absolutely sarcastic bitch when I need to be. And it's not that their voices or anything like that gets to me, because I, I don't let assholes get to me. I've been doing this for, what now, almost 12 years? Yeah, been doing this for about 12 years. Technically longer, if you think about it. And, um, you know, you kind of, and I also come from a family where, you know, you kind of you kind of have a tough skin. You, you just learn to have a tough skin. But when it comes to your own internalized voices that are trying to tell you you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not woman enough, you know, I guess you could kind of say it's my own internalized transphobia. <laughs> um... You know, and not about others, just about myself. That's what eats away at me sometimes. And it usually coincides with the depression. And sometimes it's hard to bury those voices when you've also got the voices of depression, the voices of anxiety, and just trying to do too much at one time. It's exhausting. So, this isn't, I'm taking a break. This isn't a sudden end to season whatever we're on. Um, this isn't, you know, you know, I'm not going away. I'm just kind of saying that if I need to take a day you know, to relax my brain or something like that, that's, I will be letting you guys know. I already have. I put every time that I just need a, just need a day that there's going to be a delay in, you know, video making and stuff like that, I will put it out on YouTube in the community tab. I will put it out on Twitter. I will put it out on Blue Sky, I will put it out on Threads. I don't care where, what you're on, I'll try to just get it out onto social media and let you guys know, hey, I'm just not having a good day today, you know, I hope you guys understand, and, you know, uh, yeah, I'll just basically leave you guys a message just to kind of be like hey today's a bad day for me or hey there was a hang up or whatever it was you know whatever the case may be because sometimes shit just happens technologically technology is not perfect and we as humans aren't perfect so sometimes you know it's not even about the depression sometimes it's just because I'm having a shitty time with technology because Believe it or not, I am not very technologically savvy. And maybe that's just because, you know, I was born a little bit too early. You know, I was a little kid when the internet and Google started becoming a, a big thing. Um, so part of it might be the fact that I haven't basically been born with a 
you know, a device in my hand from, you know, from day damn one. Um, it's a skill issue. Um, but the other issue is just the fact that sometimes my mental health comes first. And there's just sometimes going to be days or even a week or so where I'm going to just be like, hey guys, I'm not doing well. I'll see you when I see you. And, I, and like I said, I will let you guys know. I, I try to be as open and honest with you guys as I can, especially considering I've got three of you that, um, that graciously donate to my Patreon, and I appreciate it so very much. It, even though it's not a lot from just a couple of people, it's still sometimes that extra little bit of money is what I need to just put, you know, to just kind of, you know, to just put into my everyday life. Sometimes it's really hard considering the fact that, you know, I am trying to make this very much more a professional setting. I'm trying to do script writing. I'm trying to actually, like, I'm a one-woman show, plain and simple. This is a one-woman operation. I've been doing this for years. I write this this crap. I self-produce it. I direct it. I edit it. You know, I do everything. I don't have the money to shell out to two or three or 30 extra people to assist me with this. I don't have a production team. I don't have an editing team. I don't have writers. Although, I'll be quite honest, if I could afford to uh, to hire writers, I would treat them a shit ton better than, than Hollywood is. I'm sorry, I had to put that little dig in there because of everything that's been going on. But I do literally everything to make sure that this channel runs at a, about as much of an optimum as it possibly can with the limited resources that I do have. So for those of you that do contribute to the Patreon, I do appreciate it. It's not a lot, but everybody is, you know, even if it's just, you know just a couple of bucks that extra couple of bucks a month helps me because you know it's one of those things that sometimes I just need it for my everyday life to just get by because you know I don't go blowing it on fancy crap I'm gonna be honest my, the, the stuff that I end that you know the stuff that I end up spending my money on is largely bills and gas to just get me to and from where I need to go. And if I can try to, to at least have more of an income where I can not only be able to live comfortably there, I would I would like to begin to start putting it towards this channel. Um, I, you know, I'm working with a friggin' you know, lamp and, you know, whatever lighting I have in this room and the light, you know, the lighting is decent, but it's still crap. It's not where it should be, you know. I would absolutely love to be able to do this and, you know, have my own studio, even if it's just, you know, an extra bedroom. I would like to be able to, like, you know, have, not have to film this on a on my phone while reading a script off of a laptop that essentially barely works. It's hard. And I don't have the money to put towards a lot of things that I could use to make this channel better. So I do appreciate what people can can support me with 
and I really appreciate the patience of everybody that does watch these videos and has continued has and continues to support me. I'd like to thank Jason Unruh. I'd like to thank Kara Stokely. I'd like to thank Comrade Net and Dark Synovia and Falcon General for, you know, being just absolute sweethearts of friends and fellow comrades that do videos and stuff like that. I want to thank you guys for, you know, continuing to do what you do and continuing to be to be part of this network that we have that we're that I'm hoping that we can slowly try to build up. Um I'd also like to thank um Sovetnik, i.e. Turtle Island Marxist. Um I'd like to thank Non Cause. I'd like to thank Dr. Abraham Weisfeld. And a very special thanks to my friend and in a way kind of a mentor uh, to Mark Foster um, because y'all constantly are trying to reach out to me and just kind of like make sure that I'm doing okay you know wondering like you know hey you guys have not have been absent you know from the chat for, for a while it's like you know and uh, just being very sympathetic and understanding to what's been going on. Um, so I do really appreciate you guys. You guys are really good friends. Um, and I'd also like to thank uh, Comrade Kyle Broflowski, um, also known as Uncle Ho Chi Minh. Um, <laughs> Honestly, your shit posts are kind of what sometimes gets me through a day. Um, and, you know, I really appreciate you being a really good friend to me. And, you know, just kind of kind of telling me, you know, you got to take care of what you, what you can control. So... I really appreciate it, and I really do appreciate any but everyone that does like, comment, and subscribe on here. Um, I love you guys, and like I said, I will I will be pumping these videos out about as regularly as I can. I do intend to keep sticking to a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, um, but there are just going to be some days where I can't for other reasons, whether it's my mental health, whether it's a, some sort of technological issue, and then just, you know, I'm going to be honest, there's just some days where it's just, I'm just not feeling it, <laughs> and I will let you know, I will continue to be the honest Marxist that I've always been, I... I don't sugarcoat things, and everybody that watches me knows that. Everyone who talks to me, you know, on Discord or, you know, or on Twitter or whatever like that, they know that, yeah, I don't sugarcoat shit. You know, I'm human, you know. I'm a trans woman that deals with a lot of crap in her life and a lot of trauma in her life and just like anybody else that's been through any of that I'm just trying to take it one day at a time so I really appreciate it and I appreciate the understanding and I love you all until next time <laughs>